All right, so this is gonna be a pretty short video. Honestly, it's just kind of an addendum to the video that I made the other day about PSP collecting tips. At the end of that video, one of the things that I mentioned that you could do to kind of like save wear and tear on your UMDs was to play games off of your memory stick, which is great, except for the fact that if you have a very large collection that you've digitized and turned into ISOs to play directly from the memory stick, you're gonna need a lot of capacity. Now, there are a couple of ways that you could go about that, and I think one is decidedly worse than the other, but let's go ahead and talk about it. So you could get a regular memory stick duo for the PSP, like I have right here, which honestly I do kind of like the color on this one, but it's only one gigabyte. And the other thing is, these are pretty expensive, and the reason they're expensive is because, true to form, Sony kind of, you know, has a history of creating multimedia formats, some of which are awesome, right? They were, you know, originally responsible for creating the compact disc, and also the mini disc, which was not nearly as well known as the compact disc, but hey, I still thought it was a really cool format. It didn't really take off here in the States, though. But anyways, they tried to do the same thing with the PSP and then also with the Vita, where they kind of created these proprietary memory stick formats for you to use which is great for Sony because that means you have to buy their product, but it's not so great for most of the world that have moved on to using things like SD cards or micro SD cards. So the good news is for rather than spending, I would say, I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks even to get like an official you know, memory stick duo and the capacity is not even going to be that great. A far more cost effective solution would be to grab one of these, which is a micro SD card adapter for the PSP, which is way cheaper. I think this cost me about $6. And then on top of that, I put a 64 gig card in here, which I think was like $11. So for 15 bucks, I got 64 times the storage of that one gigabyte, you know, memory stick duo that I just showed you here. So that's really what I wanted to do today is just kind of go over, uh, you know, how you can actually get your card set up to use this, which again is a way cheaper option than going the official route. And the steps are really, really straightforward. The first thing that you want to do is pop the regular micro SD card that you're going to use into your PC, whether that's a Mac or Windows machine. And then you want to go ahead and formatted to be FAT32. I'm not sure if you would have to be on an older version of Windows to do this natively, because I know that FAT32 is like kind of an older file format at this point, but if not, I'm sure there's a third-party utility that will do it for you. But once you get it formatted into FAT32, then you can go ahead and put it into the adapter and pop it into your PSP. At that point, you can go ahead and boot it up and then go into System, System Settings, Format Memory Stick. Then just wait a couple of seconds and your memory stick will basically be ready to go. And you can go ahead and plug a USB cable in between your PSP and your PC, put it into USB mode, and then you could transfer files as you normally would. So yeah, if you're looking for a memory stick for your PSP, don't buy a memory stick duo or something like that. Just get one of these adapters. Now I would be careful and read the reviews of different Amazon sellers. I actually linked at the bottom directly to the one that I'm using here, which again was like five or six bucks. But if you're gonna shop around a little bit and try to find an even better be deal, just be aware these are not the sturdiest things that I've ever seen. I try to be a little bit careful with it because the build quality is not stellar or anything like that. But honestly, once you get the card set up, you could probably pretty much leave it there if you want to go for some exorbitant capacity like 256 gigs or something crazy like that, which could hold a ton of PSP games and ROMs if that's, you know, what you're kind of inclined to do. Although I will say you may want to be careful about loading up like, you know, two or three hundred games on one of these. It's not that you can't do it. You can. You can put hundreds of PSP games if you want to on a memory stick. The problem is the interface sort of struggles to display the art for all of them. So you'll probably see like some delays or lag whenever you try to load up uh, or just list out the games when you have the PSP fired up and kind of, you know, select which game you want to play. So it might be better to just keep like 20 or 30 of your favorite games on there rather than trying to put, say, the entire PSP library on like a one terabyte stick, or I don't even know if you can, if it can recognize one terabyte, but uh, yeah, just something to be aware of. If you're like, oh, I'm just going to put the entire PSP library on one stick. Maybe, but you probably will not get the best performance, at least in terms of like selecting the game. Like once you start running it, I think it'll be fine. But yeah, I just personally don't like there to be like a huge lag as the, you know, the system struggles to load the artwork for like 200 games or something like that. But yeah, Again, short video here. I just wanted to put this out there in case you're somebody who's not familiar with it, or again, if you're new to the PSP and you're looking for a way to get a ton of storage without breaking the bank, this will definitely let you do that. Again, I've gone ahead and linked to this below if you want to go check it out. So you can load up with like 64, 128 gigs of storage on your PSP for like 15, 20 bucks, not terrible. So anyways, thanks for watching the video, just a quick one. As I mentioned in the last video, I'm stepping away from PSP stuff a little bit in the coming weeks because uh, I've got the Steam Deck back here. I'm very excited to start making content about it because I've been playing this thing like crazy once, uh, you know, Elden Ring finally got its claws out of me. So yeah, I'll be doing a lot of Steam Deck stuff, including like my first impressions, uh, a proper review after I spent some more time with it because it's, it's only been like a couple of weeks at this point. But yeah, some of the stuff that's coming down the pike. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch the videos. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next video.